You know, ladies and gentlemen, before I go on and showing you what I need to show you, I had this individual, he actually wrote me telling me that I don't treat you guys with respect. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, I just had a person call me several times today. I tried calling the person back and they won't answer the call because they didn't recognize my number. I don't give up. I tried calling back. As busy as I've been today, I tried calling this person back. And this person let it go to voicemail every single time. So now that person goes to voicemail every single time. Those of you who call me and you don't leave a message, you dial my number and you don't leave a message, you only need to call once. You call three and four times, you're not getting a response. Leave a message. If I don't call you back after you left a message and I check all of my messages, and by the way, in the last five days, only three people have left messages. Several of them have left messages telling me they just wanted to say howdy. They just wanted to say thank you. Just wanted to say, you're great. And I really appreciate that. But other people have left messages asking questions. I told you, and I'm doing the best I can. Stop calling me asking me questions. I don't have time to answer your individual questions. You see, that's the part that they don't like. They don't like me telling you to stop doing something I've already asked you not to do a hundred times. How many times have I said my number is not up there for you to ask me personal questions about your own personal situation? Told you my fee is $500 and nobody has paid my fee so you ain't getting no answers. I'm sorry. I didn't want to go all that idiot that I don't like Samuel L. Jackson on you, but it's time that you know that I'm a nice guy. Everybody in their grandmama says I'm a nice guy until you piss me off. So those of you who have been around for a while, who are not like these new people who are so demanding, who are so selfish, who are so stuck on themselves, the young lady who was trying to get in touch with me told me that she used a social security account and she went and she bought herself a brand new Cadillac, a brand new 2017 Cadillac. And uh oh, it went through at the beginning, but it didn't go through at the end. And so they want their truck back. And she's trying to figure out what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you all to do your own research. I told you about the fact that I did a video. I put the money order up there and she probably used the money order, y'all. A money order that I just put up that day, did no research whatsoever, just went and did it. 